just a reminder that this and all my other videos are made for adult doll collectors or adults buying dolls for others. This is not a video for children. Viewer discretion is advised. Thank you very much for listening. Hello Internet! My name is Kelsey and welcome back to my closet. Today we are going to be looking at some offerings from Real Littles, including the Real Littles roller case and journal that I had found during a doll hunt, didn't buy, and so wound up having to go hunting for at my home Target. A Real Littles separate journal that I also saw in a doll hunt and didn't get decided I wanted to go back so I could have something to do with this. And while I was getting this, saw one of the newest Real Littles Disney bags. This one based on Aladdin, my favorite Disney movie, so obviously I had to get it. <laughs> so all of these fun things we are going to be opening in this video. It seems like Real Littles tends to have themes of what they had. So first they had the backpacks, then they had the handbags, now it looks like journals is the latest thing. This coincides with this in a way because this also has a journal in it. This is $19.99. It comes with two suitcases and the journal and then some other surprises. And then the journals are nine something, $9.97, something around that range. The Aladdin backpack here, which is part of the Disney handbag line. So it's not just backpacks this time, but this was like 11 something. I know Disney, you know, is a big money maker, but like 11 something, my God, I don't think the first round of the Disney Real Littles were that much, were they? Yeah, so we're gonna go through each of these things. And since I have it in my hand, let's have a look at the Disney Real Little backpack for Aladdin. So this is like the second round of Disney Real Littles bags. This is a backpack, like I said, even though it's part of the handbag line, but it looks so sparkly and pretty. And at first when I saw it, because it's got this like purple outline of the palace and the sparkle to look like the night sky. And I was like, ooh, that's really pretty. What movie is that? And I was like, what? It's Aladdin. This is perfect. It says Real Little's Backpacks, Disney, Aladdin, and seven surprises inside. On this side, it's just clear. On this side, it shows you some of the items that you might get includes exclusive bag tag so that at least is guaranteed but there are other variations of different things that you can get such as these items here so we'll have to see i really wanted the rulers in the little box like that is so super cute. So I tried to pick, because there were two of the Aladdin ones, I tried to pick the one that looked like it had a little bit more in it up and down. Let us have a look at this bag. So here's a better look at, oh, look at how glittery it is. I love it. So it's a black shiny plastic with sparkles. There's a trail of stars and a silhouette of the pa uh, palace at Agrabah. There's Aladdin and Jasmine on the magic carpet. Purple's my favorite color. And I think a lot of the colors that I like come from Aladdin because watching that movie just makes me so visually happy. <laughs> and the straps are purple and there's one at the top and there's only one pocket. And I love these because they look like miniature lounge fly backpacks, which are huge when it comes to Disney themed bags and I think I get the ruler thing. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh my god, it's so cute! Oh, it's a genie pencil. Genie is my favorite from Aladdin. But this is one of those pencils. That... Okay, so there's two ways that you could do this. Do you remember the pencils from back in the day where you pull the tip and you push it, like once you're done and you push it down through the top and another one comes out. So that's what's supposed to be going on here, but you could take the whole genie head and just plug it in to the next genie head. <laughs> it's a genie totem pole. And there's three slightly different expressions or he's smiling the whole time, but he's looking in different directions. And there is a cap to cover it up when you're not using it so it doesn't get lead everywhere. Then we have the little tiny ruler case. We've got this plastic case. Oh, it's so cute. Look at it. And there's Jasmine and she's imagining the magic carpet and the lamp in the night sky. It's a slightly translucent purple on the back. And if you open it, there's like a protractor, a real to scale protractor. Because the thing about real littles is that they are 
real, even though they're little. This is a two scale protractor, a ruler, which is oh, freaking so cute, also to scale, and one of these triangular things. It's not called a protractor or a ruler. I'm not sure what this is called. Let me know if you know what this is. And these actually would be pretty decently sized for dolls. Even though the backpacks are like way oversized, the rulers are not. I think those are perfect. Next. <gasps> Look at this! A little zippy pencil case! Oh my god! I love it! It's like those plastic kind of clear cases. Oh, it's Oh, it's got that vinyl smell and it's got a silhouette of them on the magic carpet with cloud and the palace in the background. I would have used one of these when I was in school if it existed. Look at this, it's a lamp. So this must be the bag tag. It's a lamp and it actually opens. It's got a hinge on it so you don't lose the lid and it's it's perfect. It's just like the, it's just like the genie's lamp to grab our resident tester of items, Sophie. Yes, this is just right for her. If you took the little tag part off, she could rub the lamp. Ooh, and what do you need? Can you tell that I love Aladdin? What else? I feel like there's more than seven surprises in here. <gasps> oh, a carabiner! No, I'm just kidding. But it does come with a carabiner so that you can Put it on to the back of the bag and hang it from things. But look, magic carpet sticky notes. It's a little fan of sticky notes. How could you ever write on something? I mean, you can write on the back cause it's white, but how could you write on stuff like this? Like that's the thing about nice stationery. It's so pretty that you don't want to use it cause then you're going to have scribbles all over it and then you have to throw it away. Like somebody gets the note and then they don't need it anymore. So like, you don't want to use cute stationery like this. It's just fun to have, you know what I mean? Okay, what's next? We got stickers! We got these gradient stickers of different silhouettes. You got Raja. Yeah, that's just a cloud in the corner. The carpet, the palace, the lamp, the magic carpet ride, and Genie. And there is a little bit of shine to them. I don't know if the camera really picked up on it, but super cute! And then finally we've got two folders which have little tiny tabs on them like as if you're gonna put them into a filing cabinet which is adorable and it's jasmine holding the lamp here with a little silhouette of the magic carpet ride and then raja with the palace in the background that's what they look like on the back and on the inside they don't have pockets so it's just one of those kind of folders like a file folder super cute okay so that was a lot of fun I love the real little stuff. I have several of the backpacks and the handbags that I got just, you know, before I was consistently making videos and they're just always so fun to open, even though I don't know what to do with half the stuff because I don't want to use it and then have it run out and then not have it anymore. Next, let's look at the journal. Real Little's journals and unlock the surprises. So all the journals have a lock on the side and they also have a locked piece on the front. So I'm curious to see what is inside. Here are the options that you can get. There's the makeup one, kitty one, crown, unicorn, fashion secrets, and delish secrets. These two at the bottom I did not see at Walmart. The other four I did. This is what the unicorn stuff is. Nothing really pertaining to what we're about to open, but just to get an idea of what might be inside. It has a carabiner on it, so you can hang it, and it's fuzzy. It's got actual fur on it, and the little embroidered kitty face, which is adorable, and little kitty ears. Super cute, and a lot of embroidery on it. There's this front piece here, which I assume this unlocks. This is on a ribbon at the back and there's sparkly heart at the bottom here and it has a peg in it. So I'm assuming you just put that in there. I'm probably gonna need to open it first because I don't have a key for the main lock of the journal. <laughs> the lock on the side and it's an actual metal hinge part here. This feels like plastic and it's got a sticker on it that has all kinds of cutesy designs. And I'm assuming that you can use this as a bookmark in the journal after you open it. And I guess we open or twist. Oh, 
it open. What do we have? So inside that little heart secret compartment that cracked open. Oh, we broke the kitty's heart. There's some molded details, says BFF. There's stars, there's little gems in there. And inside we had this plastic BFF broken heart charm. It says BFF on the back and it looks like you can split it so that your BFF can have one part and you can have the other, although there's only one string. So I don't know what your BFF is supposed to do with the other one without a string. And there's a set of little keys. So now we can open the main part of the journal. And here we are. So there's one of those zippy pencil cases built in on this side and it's actually removable with Velcro so you can take it out to see what's inside. And then here's the journal half. So it says BFF and there's more designs, flowers, stars, all that good stuff. This journal is called the Bestie Secrets Journal. So I guess that's why it says BFF all over because you're supposed to write about your bestie in here. That's the first inside cover and then there's pages we've got a line page here what is that signatures this is like a best friends contract form here because it looks like this is where you're supposed to write a signature it's really weird and here's where you can put some pictures if you can print out pictures that are that tiny and then the rest seems to be blank pages and this is what it looks like on the back cover. Pretty cute. Now let's look at the little pencil case contents. So the pencil case on the outside has pretty much the same design as we keep seeing on the cover. And inside we get a pencil that matches because it is a pencil case. So why shouldn't we have a pencil? It's got all that BFF star heart shenanigans. We've got a stencil! Super cute! A glittery stencil. Oh, I just got like a, a weird nostalgic wave for school. That's so freaky. So there's this stencil. It's got a broken heart. It's got stars. It's got these square things that I don't know what shape that's supposed to be but I loved things like this. I had plenty of those when I was in school. And then we've got some stickers. So here are these BFF stickers. Kind of looks like a text chat on this side. We've got like a little post-it note, a picture, some icons down here. It says love on this one. Lots of cute stuff. So you and your bestie can have fun sharing notes in your little tiny notebook. So that was the Real Littles individual journal. That leads us to finally this very large item that comes with a journal. There are 10 plus surprises. There's a look at the suitcases. You get decorate your case with stickers. Real beauty surprises. Ooh, a travel journal. And there's just an example of what we're going to see inside. On the back, it shows you some of the stuff that's going to come in it, but I don't want to look at it too closely because I want to be surprised. What will you find? Fill and decorate your roller case with 10 plus tiny surprises inside. And I'm really excited about this because I'm hoping that the suitcase will be a good size for resilient here. And even the little suitcase could be a good scale for Barbies and Rainbow High and all that other good stuff. Let's open this box, which I've already started doing. So before we look at the stuff, I just want to show you guys, I thought it was cute that there's all this travel themed design in the background. We've got like a plane and an inner tube and a globe and a camera. And now we have two suitcases and a journal. This suitcase is pretty big. It's just a lavender all the way around. It's got some fake silver hardware like, like a combination lock on the side and a handle and this part had to put a little force into it but it is a retractable handle and there are rolling wheels and on the inside look how cute oh my god you know where you can like strap down your clothes so that they don't fly around you can actually do that here it's a rubbery strap so it's not cloth or anything there's like fake quilting inside here and there's even compartments on this side too so you've got two compartments down here two up here so you can pack all your stuff in and go traveling and there was this little white bag inside which has surprises and we've got <gasps> cute oh my god it's a tiny nail polish and 
and it said this is like a real thing that it actually worked. We're gonna have to try this. This is real nail polish and it's like sealed up so that it doesn't spill all over the place. So it's got a Real Littles logo on the front in a metallic foil. There's some information and it really is nail polish. That is real and little. Then we have some travel themed stickers, which match the inner packaging background. We got a palm leaf, we got a flamingo tube. Is that a cassette tape? Who listens to cassette tapes anymore? Camera, drinks. This is a nail file. Adorable. Look at that, a little beach sunset nail file. But it really works. It's got texture like a nail file and this would be really good if you were on the go and you just wanted to make sure you had something in case your nail chips or whatever. That happens to me all the time. Here is a tiny postcard. It's got the Eiffel Tower on one side and then standard postcard look on the other side. The bag charm, which is shaped like a peach and looks like a luggage tag because it's got the little insert card that you can take out and write who the suitcase belongs to. Adorable. And here's a second postcard. This one is from the beach. This has got a nice beach scene and there's the back. Here's the second suitcase. This one has a rubbery handle and it's got slots on this side so that you can slide it in place on the main suitcase when you're traveling. It's got a molded zipper and painted zipper pull things, but it doesn't actually zip. It just opens like this. And inside there's fake straps to look like you can hold stuff, but they're just molded in the back and the molded quilting again, but it's pretty roomy. I mean, you can fit a good amount of stuff in here if you're going traveling with your dolls. And here's our next surprise item. We have lip gloss to get this tiny, tiny bottle of lip gloss. It's got palm leaves on it. It says RL. There's your information on the back. Let me just get the little plastic off. This is what it looks like. It's one of those ones that you squeeze, put on your lips. Does it look like I have anything on? Ooh, it doesn't say what the flavor or the taste is, but not very pleasant, <laughs> but you know. It's kid makeup. We also got a teeny tiny comb, which is no use to me, but it would be useful for a doll. And then this thing, which I guess is some kind of hair tie. I would never put something like this in my hair. It would get stuck and I would never be able to get it out. You could just wear it decoratively if you were a child with a very small wrist or you could put it on like a funky ring. And then finally we have our sparkly journal. So the journal is coated so that the glitter does not come off. So it's just very smooth and shiny and glittery. And it looks like whoever was traveling already put some stickers on it. And on the inside, we've got a pencil case and the journal pages, but we'll look at those in a minute. So the pencil case, you can already see that there is a pencil inside. It slides open just like the others. And we've got more stickers. These are all travel themed. A lot of the same things that we've been seeing already. We've got another stencil. This one has an airplane, an arrow, and a camera, and the pencil, which has more of the travel designs to go along and write all about your journeys. And this is the inside of the journal. So we've got the cover where you can write your name. There's a little page to write about. I get, oh, oh, it came out. Oh no, pressed too hard and it came out. But it's a cute page. You can write about your travels. This is the checklist. So it's the same as that cardboard insert. It's just now it's in the journal. And then there's some, there's a page where you could put tiny pictures and the rest is just blank. So you can write or draw all about your journey. And there's like a map on the back. All of it is just so super cute. Let me just show you the size comparison. So here is the suitcase with Sophie. Obviously she wouldn't be holding it on her arm like this because probably break her arm if she actually had all her clothes in here, but it is a good size for Barbie's 
that are traveling. And here's Resilient with the bigger suitcase. It's a decent size compared to her. I guess most suitcases will come up to your knee, right? Maybe a little bit higher. So it's a, it might be a little short, but I think you could get away with it. This is really cute. And you can actually put her clothes in it. So that was a lot of stuff. This is going to be a long video, but I probably shouldn't be telling you that at the end because you're already at the end. So thanks for watching. If you watched all the way to the end, let me know what you think of all the real littles journals and Disney backpacks and all of that good stuff. And if any of this stuff is of interest to you, let me know what your favorite one was of all the things that we opened, including the individual tiny surprises. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends, and until next time, bye!